Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Danica. And together, we are... No, this is getting funny. It's so stupid. It's so corny. Together, we're Dan and Dan. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no, I'm not stopping it. I will never stop it. Welcome to our vlogs. We decided to start making these vlogs because we both came down with COVID and we had a lot of time to talk and like think and go over stuff and everything like that. And we just thought that why not? You know, it's something to do. Let's make a vlogging channel. So this is our vlogging channel. Enjoy. We're now going to be getting ready to go to Lidl for a little food shop. A little food shop for a little food. I didn't even know I did that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we sometimes go to Aldi, don't we? Yeah. Aldi's definitely got a lot more choice. Mm -hmm. um, but Lidl's is more convenient sometimes. That being said, how many times do we go in Lidl's and there's only one queue? There's, mm. a, there's only one till on. That's the only thing that um, I don't like about Lidl's. Every time you go in there, there's like one, there's one checkout and that's it. But they do have some really nice stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we need to go and get some shopping. We need to go and get a little bit of shopping. A little bit of shopping. Little. And, um, yeah, let's go and do that. Woo! No, no, no. She's found the stolen bites. <laughs> it is Christmas time. Well, it's not. Christmas it's uh, time. it's uh, what day? What day is it today? It's. What day is it today? Hello. Early October. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> so, yeah, disrespect the Stalin. <laughs> you can't have Christmas without Stalin. No. Can you? No, this is so true. This is so true. Even these, look. Milk chocolate almond creamy chocolates. Alright, they do sound actually really good. They nice. really sound nice. Same deal with these as well, actually. The chutneys, the fig pour apple and chutney, red wine and red onion chutney. Sounds good. We've got some really nice bits in here. Mini Mar what? No, I wanted to show you this as well. <coughs> Air dried ham. So, when they, uh, they, they obviously, you know, killed it. Um, just for ease of access and storageability and things like that. The best way to handle it is literally the only way they knew how it was done. Just throw it, just keep throwing it. <laughs> Air dried ham, everybody. Get your air dried ham. <laughs> All right, so just done our shopping in Lidl's and walking home at the moment. Hello. And um, eating one of these so, uh, tomato <laughs> and cheese foca focaccia. Focaccia. Very nice. Yeah, very good. We normally grab something to walk home with and eat. We've got a donut for later on as well, which we're probably going to have with a coffee. This is the school I went to well over a decade ago now. And funny enough, the nursery I went to is literally right next to it. I went to that as well. And this is the field um, by the school. Went on this field a lot as a kid, played football on here and everything. Um, me and Danica have relaxed on this field before and just listened to music and looked up at the, the sky because we're, we're like that. <laughs> But no, we, we sometimes take this walk home because it's it's just, I don't know, it's just really nice. It's nostalgic for me. It's just a pleasant walk in general. Like if I show you, for example, how nice it is down here. Take in the view. Yeah, it's just a really nice view overall and you're right next to some farmland as well. So we just, yeah, we take this walk home just to give ourselves a bit of fresh air and it's just hearing the kids playing on the playground and that. Used to be me back in the day. <laughs> You're not that old. Not that. <laughs> no, I feel it sometimes. <laughs> really, really need a shave at the moment. Starting to look like season five 
Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. No, but it itches. <laughs> it gets caught in your the collar on your t-shirt and things like that. You end up strangling yourself and all sorts of shit. I don't know that problem. No. <laughs> but like I could start chopping down some of these trees at the moment. So I'm going to have a freshen up when I get in and take care of this fucking dead hamster on my chin. No, it's all right. <laughs> Coming up to this tree at the moment and um, when I was younger and my mum was walking me to school <clears throat> from this tree, she decided to hide behind it <laughs> and I carried on walking I didn't, I turned around and she was gone. And just to show you the tree that's obviously still here now, thankfully, just for the sake of nostalgia and this video, that's the tree. So you go and stand behind that tree to put into perspective that you can indeed, now go behind it. <laughs> Yeah, so like, <laughs> turn around, and um, yeah, my <laughs> mum was pretty much like that, and um, yeah, scared the crap right out of me, that did. It's every child's worry, being lost. But in there, I don't know if you can see that, there's like some squirrels in there, running around in the trees. It's so cute. Looking for his dinner. Don't know what he's trying to do though. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, little dance. Squirrel dance. <laughs> Definitely hope that we get back before it rains because. Oh my god, yes. If you look around us, like everywhere you look, despite it looking pretty sunny out here, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to stay like it for much longer. In October, you would expect more rain actually, so we're yeah. quite lucky. But if you look above us, it's like, you can really see it, but yeah, it's like it's all overcast there. It's becoming Halloween. Yeah, and it's getting like really dark in places and that, so we're going to try and get back and save the shopping. What is the date already? I don't know. We're bad, aren't we? Okay, so we just got back from our shop at Lidl's um, and we're going to show you what we bought. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Let's do this. All right, so we bought some fruit bakes, strawberry and forest fruit, some Mr. Kipling Viennese Wells. Is it Viennese? Wells! No, Viennese Wells! Mr. Kipling Wells. And Wells and Twells, honey. We've got some cherry bakewells, milk chocolate butter biscuits, some bread, some whole nut crunchy peanut butter made with almonds, uh, some yogurts, some orange juice, some cocoa creamy biscuits, some Halloween sweets because Halloween is really coming up and we love Halloween. Got some donuts for later on. These ones are chocolate hazelnut donuts. They're really good. Uh, some mixed nuts, roasted and salted because we can't decide. And we've got a pizza there, some sauce. Danica bought herself some cereal, but yeah, a lot of um, good, tasty, yummy, not so healthy stuff. So you can tell that we're starting to feel a little bit better now. Um, yeah, had to take off my coat though, because it was getting far too hot. I could start to taste my own balls. Where was the receipt to the shopping? Oh yeah. So we could show them how much um, oh, no. we spent. I mean, it wasn't a very big shop. We would normally buy more than this and we do sometimes get it online. So, this is the receipt, is it? This is the blue receipt. Jeez Louise, look what happened to this. I wonder who was working on the till, Winston Churchill, by the looks of things. <laughs> uh, I've seen printed ration cards that look in better condition than this receipt. How much did we spend? We spent £29.41, apparently. And that got us like a uh, semi, okay, relatively decent shop. I mean, it was unhealthy stuff, and unhealthy stuff does cost a lot sometimes. 
Well, we've got the yogurts. We wanted the yogurts, didn't we? Because we we've got all this granola that needs to be used up. <laughs> it's like mass hoarding of granola for some stupid bloody reason. I'm going to show them how much granola we got because this is just stupid. Oh no, it's too much. Yeah, so in, in our cupboard down here, we've got like. This is my CBD coffee, by the way. This is. Um, calms me down in times of stress and anxiety, but also gives me some coffee. It's weird. Like, I. I that blew my mind when I knew that that was a thing because it seems completely counterproductive to me that you can have coffee and be calm. That just doesn't, no, just doesn't make any sense. But these were in one of our local cooperatives at one point, and this is uh, cherry and almond low, uh, low sugar granola. And these have got like such a great date on them still, but it was a stock clearance and these were all 16p. So we ended up buying like, I don't know, like 10 of them, I think. Or about 11 but we've got no yogurt and i don't know if you try and have granola without yogurt i mean it's just not good it comes with its own natural workout and it's just not right for the human body to try and eat granola without any source of support you know <laughs> but yeah that was our shop what is your shop like yeah show us your shop okay so before i have a shave um why not show you something that we really enjoy as a couple? Um, we love Nintendo, okay? Probably more than, than is healthily required by the human soul. But then I don't think there's ever an amount of gaming that you can be content with because it's Nintendo. What's not to love? I mean, everyone has a nostalgic moment with Nintendo. So we decided to start collecting for the Nintendo 64. Um, we were tempted to go with the Nintendo GameCube. But we figured there's just, it's so, it's so much fun to collect for the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo 64. And I'll, I'll show you guys why. Um, so we're going to do a tiny bit of a living room, gaming room tour. Haven't done this yet because we haven't really had the living room set up because we have been gradually adding to it as we've moved in. Um, and we're finally just about there now. So let's show you the living room. Okay, so just as you come in. The door welcomes you and also asks you to keep out because Pokemon training is in progress. Why the heck not? And over here we have our computer setup. So we have a double monitor system going on here um, with some Zelda posterage going on with the Master Sword. Um, I mounted that in the middle there just because it seemed like the right thing to do given the beautiful artwork that sits left and right of it. And then over there we have Star Fox because <sighs> Star Fox is one of my most favorite gaming um, genres through Nintendo. And here we go, <laughs> the uh, piece de resistance. Uh, this is the Nintendo 64 collection at the moment. And there's other things on there that are gaming related that's not directly related to Nintendo 64, but it's all got to go on here because it's Nintendo. So here we are with the first two shelves. This is probably the rarest game that I'm sitting on at the moment. This one here, the Blues Brothers game. Um, this was actually a CEX buy, believe it or not. Um, it was the first one to ever come in stock for such a long time. And for it to have turned up looking like that, I'm actually incredibly surprised because it never comes in stock anywhere. You never even see it boxed on eBay. So that and um, Rocket Robot on Wheels. That's very rare as well. Resident Evil 2, you do see more of that around, but even so, getting it boxed is quite a, a challenge, so to say. And we have the six fantastic consoles when the camera decides that it wants to stop having a nerdgasm as well. Yeah, we have Smoke Black, Fire Orange, Jungle Green, Great Purple, Ice Blue, and Watermelon Red. What would you say your favorite color is? For me personally, I really love Great Purple. The hardest one to get is Smoke Black because Nintendo didn't make as many of those because it was very close to the Charcoal Black that most people actually had. So they didn't want to make too many consoles that looked very similar to its original release. Down here we have loads of different colored uh, controllers. Don't have the Extreme Green because I'm not an Extreme Maniac. It's too expensive, believe me. It's far too expensive. Some little Zelda bits. Um, our buddies got us this. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just move this dangerous Majora's mask. No, really, it is dangerous. They're, they're incredibly sharp. You found pizza. 
all hearts restored i absolutely love it our friends uh toby and karina bought us that and it's so good up here we have the wind waker stone tablet from obviously the legend of zelda wind waker a little link chilling by the master sword that lights up <laughs> had to put it next to the green um n64 because it just seemed seemed right and my partner Danica, she's made some of these um hammer bead artworks this is a chocobo we have yoshi and we have a link over there as well she's getting really good at it here's some more games and then it goes across sorry about the glare i've got these in box protectors so it's gonna happen and we have some games over the back there as well with my original n64 and some accessories then we've got some like nintendo switch bits including a 30th anniversary sonic figure which does kind of stand out a little bit but <laughs> the way i see it sonic is on the nintendo system now as well because nintendo i've got a finger in literally every pie and then down there we've got some gamecube bits and a custom playstation one console randomly because it's so good i can't not have it on display it was a system that me and a buddy um, worked on and he did a great job on the artwork and the pieces that are on the little on the front there the power button and the uh, eject button he did that that was amazing um jigglypuff microphone we haven't actually played with that yet but we want to at some point some little pokemon bits loads of um pikachu plushies ones that we've just come across over the years in like charity shops and things like that that's a really old one by the way this is like you can tell just by the way it's been made that it just it it's got some age to it it's definitely an official nintendo one as well but yeah that is the nintendo collection still gradually adding to it like every now and then we try and buy one n64 game and we'll kind of bulk it up by one up here like we're doing because as you saw before, we had like rows of four every time. And then we broke into a section where it started becoming uneven because we had five and then six. So we've started going along here and they're all in alphabetical order as well. And um, over here, we have my partner Hello. <laughs> sitting by the coffee machine. This is um, where if we can't be bothered to go into the kitchen or we've got some friends over and everyone wants some drinks, we'll go ahead and make some drinks. So down here we've got our uh, choices. We don't actually have a lot of choice. We normally have more choice than this, but we've really come to love the decaf um, Dulce Gusto Nescafe pods. These are normally really hard to find, but the Asta store had them in stock online, and we've never seen that before, have we? No, we haven't. So and fancy in the coffee with that donut. Yeah, I'm debating whether to have the donut now or for after dinner later on. That's always the no. debate. You've got to have it now. <laughs> like the shoulder devil. Yes. <laughs> I need a shoulder angel. There's no angels here. <laughs> Just donuts. Just loads of donuts. Yeah. So what was this? This was free for 11, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Free for 11 and you get 16 coffees in each box. So it's like 48 coffees for 11 quid. And they're actually pretty nice, aren't they? They're really nice. They're really yeah. good. Um, the machine, a little Pikachu looking down. <laughs> they look funny from here for some reason. But yeah, um, let's have a coffee anyway. Why not? I forgot to mention that I installed these floating shelves and put the Nintendo sign above it. These actually were at a charity shop as well. And I couldn't believe our luck because we've gone with like white furniture, as you can see. We've gone like with like white units here, um, white gloss table, white units, and obviously the white bookshelves. These are Billy bookshelves. They cost um, 50 quid each, I think. But I just really love them because they've got all the adjustable holes on each individual shelf. So you can have some really small um, shelving or you can have some really deep shelving where you can have those consoles on display and not worry too much about running out of shelf space for the other stuff. But but yeah, they're really good. They were with IKEA, but these came into um, the charity shop at some point, and they're like lined with red inside, and it was just too good. It was just too perfect. And at the moment, we're thinking that it won't stay like this. We're thinking that 
we might just have Nintendo Switch games running along these two rectangular units because it's worked out perfectly that these actually um, house Nintendo Switch games perfectly. This is Arceus, by the way. This is Danica's. She's playing that at the moment. She's enjoying it. But yeah, it's perfect. I mean, you can literally just pop your finger like right at the very top and you can you can take a game out. And I don't know how many games we'd be able to fit on these two rectangular shells, but we're definitely going to look into that at some point as well, I think. Overall, the gaming room is coming along really nicely. What do you think of the gaming room tour? I'm really excited. I, honestly, it brings me back to when I was a little kid. In, in you know, my bedroom, the N64, Zelda Ocarina of Time, always. What was the game you played like the most on the N64, would you reckon? Either GoldenEye or Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, GoldenEye or Conker's Bad Fur Day. You, you, honestly. What a game. It's not for children. No, it's not. Even though it says it's for children, it's not. No. The amount of swearing, um, yeah. Just the general profanity level in that game is so comfortably and uncomfortably high mm -hmm. for gamers. And I think that's one of the reasons why people have such a special place for that in their heart. Yeah. Okay, so these are the pods, and it's a really simple design, this one. Um, they're all pretty much as easy as each other, but the thing I love about it, you just take this out, put that in there, push that shut, close it, and just make sure the machine's actually ready to go. It'll go green when it's ready. This one, I think this machine's called the Infinisma. I think it's meant to be like a play on words with like... Uh, the nature of infinity, as you can see, that's kind of what the machine looks like there. Um, but you actually stop this machine yourself. So that's the one thing I kind of miss about the Tassimo, I suppose. The the Tassimos, um, they stop eventually on their own. But this one, you can kind of cater it to your liking, which, you know, can be good too. You can have a really strong coffee or a really watered down one, depending on your preference. So as soon as that's gone green, we'll literally just flick over onto the hot water setting and it will start pouring through our coffee. And it's immediately hot as well. That's the other thing that I really like about it. Um, we've had coffee machines in the past that you can put your like your finger straight in it and it's just, it's not hot. This is really hot. You can see the steam coming off of it straight away. This actually makes a really nice hot cup of coffee. And then if you're done with it, normally I check the color of the liquid coming out. It's starting to go clear now. So that's always a good indicator. And then, yeah, that is it. They all sound really noisy. They all kind of drip out of there like an incontinent pensioner. That is one of the downsides of all of these uh, coffee machines. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> incontinent pensioner. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? I mean, it's still going, look. <laughs> what Pikachu, look. His brain. His brains. <laughs> And um, they all sound like a, a xenomorph. But overall, you're left with a really nice coffee. So we're just going to sit down and have our donut now. We have succumbed to the donut. There is one problem with the donuts though. I don't know which one of us did it, but look at the donuts. What in the actual fudge cake has happened here? This is my one as well. I pulled the short straw on this one. Her one looks like a slightly better cheeseburger impersonator. My one looks like a legit cheeseburger and personator. It's not good, is it? No, it's not. Look at this. It was your fault though, wasn't it? Well, I don't think it was. This ended up on top of like, I don't know, underneath all the shopping and everything. And it's only, always Danny. Only just survived. Apparently it's my fault as well. <laughs> well, I'm going to eat it anyway. And we're going to watch. Great. I don't know what we're going to watch. We don't know what we're going to watch. But we're going to watch something. We wing it sometimes, don't we? Mm -hmm. we? We wing it and sometimes we find a show 
or something that we really enjoy watching together and we'll just we'll just binge watch the hell out of that. <laughs> With a donut and a coffee. We've been watching The Walking Dead. Been watching oh, yes. Handmaid's Tale. But we're up to date on all of those now, so we're literally waiting for those to come out as they come. Um so <laughs> at the moment we've been watching uh friends on youtube not not friends the show but like actual friends that record and upload stuff as well like we've got our friends over in korea and we've been watching theirs whilst we've been recovering from covid it's been like um they've been there with us <laughs> as weird and as sour as sad as that sounds it's been nice being able to actually see our friends again so yeah we're gonna have a coffee and a donut and we're gonna probably watch some more of that I yes, think. I think so. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers to that. Well, I'll just show you guys this as well, but we've got these doves outside and there's a lady next door called Sherry and she feeds them and it's the most adorable thing ever. But these two little lovebirds are just outside and they're just eating out of the little bird feeder. Damn it, phone, come on, stop all focusing on the bloody window. You can see it anyway. But yeah, they're just outside having a nom. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shave this beard off, I think. It's getting ridiculous. What the hell is that? Holy... F I'm actually... Babe, yeah. I'm turning into an owl. An owl? Yes. Yes, the owl. Yeah, minus the wisdom. Have you seen this? <laughs> this is... I tell you, if this carries on, I'm going to have more hair on my ear than I've got on my chest. This is insane. Look at this. You're the wise elf from Zelda. I'm going to... Uh, no, this can't... No, this can't go on. It's, it's ridiculous. You need to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm going to have a shave now. Let's do it. Okay, so... I've had a shave now, finally. I look human again. Not like a dude who's ready to chop down trees in the middle of the forest like I was on the way home but yeah looking pretty fresh now happy with that <laughs> down the crew in the kitchen making our lunch for the week um, we're gonna go ahead and boil six eggs up at a time and what we like to do is we like to rotate our lunches so we'll have salads pretty much we'll have an egg salad a chicken salad egg salad chicken salad might sound boring but we actually really enjoy having that and it keeps things really simple and also this way the boiled eggs will last in the fridge for up to a week and then all you've got to do is chop them up put them in your salad and you're done definitely saves a lot of time and um, i don't know about you but i find coming up with ideas for lunches stressful that's one weird egg. Yeah, some, some do come in different colours. It's very weird. I often find that that's actually a good thing because then it just shows more authentic produce, in my opinion. And there we go. They're all in there. And what we'll do is we'll probably leave them in the shell. And... I usually do about eight to nine minutes. You might think yeah, that, I'm Yeah, that's like... That's very... Very boiled, but that's good though. I, I like that. But then when you're chopping them up in a salad... You don't want any of that yolk yeah. running over your salad. That's the thing. And if you go for like five minutes, you're going to get a bit of runny yolk. What about that time that I went to Centre Parks? I went to Centre Parks and I <laughs> ordered an egg salad, right? And it came and there was a salad. And there was a poached egg on top. And I've never had poached egg, so I didn't know what to expect. I pierced the egg and... I bear in mind I've got salmon as well. I pierced the egg and all the yolk ran onto my salad and literally I was almost It just doesn't sick. seem natural, does it, to have yolk what? all over the, the salad like that? Why would they put yolk on salad? No. Would you have yolk on salad? I don't think so. No, it's no yolk. Yeah, that was my story about the, <laughs> the eggy centre parks. Eggy centre parks. Right, now we've decided what we're going to have for dinner and it's going to be a pizza with some beans, maybe a bit of garlic bread. If anyone knows us, you know that we love a pizza. So what we're going to do, because we've got some um, chicken in the fridge, we're going to cook that at the same time 
but obviously leave that in longer and then that will be for our lunch not tomorrow but the next day so we can leave the cooked fruit um chicken in the fridge in some tin foil so now we're gonna cook some lovely chicken which i'm really looking forward to and having some pizza <laughs> So this is the pizza we got guys, doesn't that look really nice, it's basil, pesto, charcoal vegetables, it looks amazing, it was $2.99 in Lidl, or was it $3.99, got to look at the receipt now, hold on, it was $3.99, but it's sourdough, it's a really nice pizza. Let's bang it on the tray. Right, so how long does this need? So it says it needs 200 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. So because it's frozen, um, we preheat the oven. So let's do it. I'm going to do it for I usually go 5 minutes above so it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius Open this bad boy up Oh this looks so good realize it had olives on it i don't like olives but we can pick them out open this up if i get there in one piece that looks so good there we go bung that on the tray ready for cooking Rubbish away. Right. <clears throat> so that can go in. Right, because we put the chicken in as well. There we go. Right, let's get some tin foil. Oh no! Got no tin foil. Well, we bought some. Apparently not. So any cooks out there, don't follow this guy. Right, let's put that in there so it doesn't stick to the pan. Right. <laughs> Some olive oil after. Got some lovely chicken here, ready for tomorrow's lunch. Right, I'll put them on the tray. Put a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Right, running out of this, but we got some sea salt. Got some black pepper. Some uh, chicken seasoning. All good. You need to season properly when you're dealing with some chicken. Or maybe some mixed herb as well, just because. I like to add an extra bit of flavour to my chicken. There we go. I can go in the oven, but obviously it needs longer. So we get a saucepan. 
anyone would do. We've had these saucepans for years and they've done us a trick so far. Fingers crossed they stay good. I'm going to put that on the hob. Not going to put the. Hmm, actually, let's have a look. 11 minutes, might as well put the beans in. Some Asda baked beans. These are really nice, by the way. You know, even though they're Asda own brand, they're really tasty. You know, I'd say better than Heinz. Sorry, Heinz. And they are that sort of pool tab, which we love. If you're lazy like us, we can't be asked to have a, a tin opener and open the tin. We'd rather that pool tab, and all you do is literally pull back and open up. And how easy was that? Very easy. You just pour it in your lovely saucepan. That is literally it for dinner. Pizza and beans. Quite like that. Might add a bit of salad, don't know yet. We have got some salad in, in there, so might add some salad. But as you can see, it's all gone. Done and dusted. I'll give it a rinse out as well. And that is dinner for uh, today. So I'll wait for Danny to get out of the bath. And then we've got dinner all prepared for us. We're gonna enjoy that as well. Okay, so I smelled something beautiful when I got out of the bath. <laughs> Someone's been busy. It sounded like you're doing a cooking show out here. That looks really good. That looks yummy. That does look really good. I hope you're hungry. I am. That's gonna go down a real treat. Feeling really um, better now, actually. Mm. Like COVID's like 99% out of my system. So definitely looking forward to actually just sitting down and having a relaxing meal now. Very well rested after that bath. Thank you, baby, for that. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's been a slightly long day today. We're just about recovered from COVID now. So let us know what you think about these vlogs, because obviously... <laughs> The vlogs came about through seeing our friends making some vlogs uh, years ago. It inspired us to make some as well. But also the fact that we've been sitting in and having time to think about this kind of thing. Um, let us know what you think about us doing vlogs. We want to do more. We definitely do want to do more. Um, so if you like the content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, we don't even know what we're going to upload on this channel. It's just going to be us, our lives, random stuffs. So if that sounds something like you might want to watch, um, stick around. Thank you so much for watching. All right. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.